A bad combination. It was windy and humid today. Yeah, bleh. but it all could change later this week, apparently. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Mike Collier is tracking potential storms. Hey there, Mike. Oh, well, you're right, Sharon. Typical Oklahoma way today, and you're going to get something completely different, and that's going to be the case once again tomorrow morning as we track rain and storms moving in the area. Right now, all is quiet and dry. Storms out to the west of us are going to try to make their way in eastern Oklahoma late tonight, early tomorrow morning. So as we look at our future track radar heading towards tomorrow morning at 430, expect scattered showers and storms rolling through the area. So wet conditions tomorrow morning on your commute. Now as we go through the mid morning hours, so showers begin to move out. We start to see a few rays of sunshine and as a result, temperatures rebound quite nicely tomorrow afternoon as the rain moves well east of us here in eastern Oklahoma. How much rain can we expect overnight tonight? We're looking at our future track radar estimates of anywhere between about two to four tenths of an inch of rain from Tulsa with the heavier amounts down to the southwest of us, lighter amounts as the storms weaken as they move further to the east. Now watch this as I add more rain in by the end of the week into early Saturday morning. We could be seeing anywhere between two to four inches of rain across a large part of eastern Oklahoma from I-44 to the southeast and you can only imagine that's more more likely to cause some flooding issues by early Saturday morning. So something we'll be tracking very closely as we head through the next couple of days. Right now, it's just warm outside, temperature of 80 degrees, southeast winds about 21 miles per hour. And if you're heading outside this evening, temperatures are going to continue to range from the upper 70s to lower 80s. A warm but nice evening across the area with temperatures settling down into the lower 70s and upper 60s. For overnight lows and specifically for your town, Grand Lake at 67 degrees, Coffeyville uh, generally in the upper 60s, McAllister 67, and Bristow 65 with south winds about 5 to 15. Tomorrow afternoon, once we get rid of those clouds and the rain chances, temperatures are going to warm quite nicely into the mid 80s here in Tulsa, prior 84 degrees. Grand Lake at 84 and McAllister, the warm spot again at 88 degrees with breezy winds expected for your Wednesday, but it will be dry by afternoon. So we have a chance for rain and storms early tomorrow morning and then we begin to dry. So mid 80s for highs on your Wednesday near 90 on Thursday with storms developing out to the west of us. Yeah, hot and sticky Thursday. Mm -hmm. Then we see cooler weather return for the weekend coming up tonight. Six. We'll talk more about the severe weather threat.